this is Zaina. Today I'm going to show you how you can edit effects, EQ, reverb, and compressor settings on recordings you've already made in Voloco. You'll get the most out of this video if you've already got the basics down in Voloco and had a chance to create a few tracks. If you're not there yet, I recommend checking out some of our other videos like Getting Started in Voloco and EQ, Reverb, and Compressor and making a few tracks in Voloco to figure out how the app works for you and your sound. In this video, we're focusing on editing the EQ, reverb, compressor, and effects settings on recordings that you've already made in the app. FYI, here's where you can find these settings if you're looking for where you set them up for a live recording in Voloco. But again, in this video, we're going to be talking about how to change EQ, reverb, compression, and effects when you're editing what you've already recorded in Voloco. This kind of editing is pretty new in Voloco, so remember, you can only edit your tracks after recording if you recorded them in a version of Voloco that comes with multi-track recording. That's Voloco version 7.0 or higher, by the way. You can change all of these settings on what you've just finished recording, even if you're not finished with the track. Or you can open up a track you've already reviewed and saved. To open up a track you've already reviewed and saved, go to Recordings and tap the Options menu for the track you want to edit. Press Open, and once you're in the track, go to the Edit view. Next, you're going to select the vocal line you want to edit, and tap again where you see the next menu here, where you want to select Effects and Volume to open up a bunch of editing options, including Effect, EQ, Reverb, and Compressor. I also want to mention that you can edit individual separated segments from each line in Voloco. So for example, if one of your vocal lines has a bunch of short separated ad-libs with space in between them, you can actually edit each little separate segment to sound totally different. But back to walking through editing. To edit the effect, EQ, reverb, or compressor, just tap the setting you're looking to change and that will pull up all the options for the setting. You can experiment by changing the settings and then pressing play to hear the results. To go back to the very beginning of the track, you can always press the rewind button. You can also scrub forwards and backwards to start the track playing from a specific point to hear how your edits sound. Press pause to pause at any point. If you decide you want to record over a section of the line you're editing, pressing the big red record button will start a live recording. The app will keep recording and writing over the line you're editing till you press the red button again to stop recording. So make sure you definitely want to record over that portion of the line. So that's how you edit the effect, EQ, reverb, and compressor settings in Voloco to get that perfect sound. We want to hear your questions and feedback, so make sure you drop a comment for us. And don't forget to subscribe so you'll be the first to see the next tutorial.